This is Dax the Animal, chapter 5-2, and this RE4 professional no damage run. This chapter is pretty much all action. As soon as we go through this door, already in some combat. It's not worth trying to run past these guys, just take them out. Even if you stun them, you still have to have Ashley follow you. She might do something dumb. I always tell her to wait before walking around this corner. Just take them out. We're pretty much sniping dudes with the striker. You'll see quite a bit of that in this chapter. There's a big on rails segment later. We got a flashbang ready before walking into this room. Threw it over here, told Ashley to wait. Now, unfortunately, that dude, when he died, he knocked these other two out of their stun animation from the flashbang. Most of the time, that doesn't happen. You can just stun everybody, shoot that one guy in the head, and then you're pretty much good. I just throw another flashbang to stun them, and then you can just leave Ashley. Because once you get down here, triggers a cutscene that warps her over. So really that section is, is as long as you have two flashbangs right there, you're golden. Make sure to get some distance. Told Ashley to wait so she doesn't get in the way. Just take out another one of these guys. There's a handful of them in this chapter. As long as you have this infrared scope, they're really not a threat. Look at that, 20,000 pesetas. Follow me. For what? I mean, <laughs> we barely did anything. Look at this nonsense. Thanks for the help, Ashley. Thanks for pretending. As soon as this drops, don't walk forward. Wait. See how I back up, tell her to wait, come over here by this barrel, and you can actually see this guy. He spawns in. If you were to walk forward after dropping that container, he would start walking forward too, and you wouldn't be able to take care of that back parasite. Ultimately, it saves a shot, not having to blow his leg off. Follow me. Another 20k? Easy. Nothing to it. She's actually helping us with this one. Thanks, Ashley. Now, after taking out these guys, wait. There's a very interesting glitch. Because this upcoming room is one of the most difficult in the game. It's the wrecking ball room. Ashley can cause all sorts of issues. Follow me. But there's a handy dandy glitch featuring that egg that we grabbed at the end of the castle. It just makes this room a breeze. Equip the egg. And aim at her. Aim at Ashley. Just like that. Never let go of aim. I'm still holding aim. Still holding the aim button. Still holding it. I never let go of it during this entire section. See how the camera's all wonky? You can pick stuff up, you can menu. Just never let go of aim. Sit back here. Make sure you're in a position where the enemies can't see you. Ashley is still ducking. She still thinks I'm aiming something at her. Yeah, you just aim at her. Discard the egg. and do this, do this wrecking ball sequence. You have to do it three times. When the lever rises up, like so, then you can do it again. So that was the third one, it breaks. And then you just let go of aim, and Ashley comes to you. And I get a flashbang ready just in case Sometimes the enemies are more aggressive. 
Here she is. She ran past them like it was nothing. And because I was using Dittman, I was able to run to the door pretty quickly. If you're not going to use Dittman, then, you know, definitely have a flashbang at the ready in case they come running. And I just wait right here. Wait. Gives you the most distance. You don't have to move forward at all. This guy will come to you. But yeah, that previous room, definitely uh, rewatch. Watch it very closely. Make sure you do those steps exactly how I did them. And do not let go of aim the whole time. Because as soon as you do, she comes toward you. It'll mess up the whole sequence. Just over here scavenging. Handy dandy incendiary grenade and three rifle rounds. Alright, this is the last regenerator in the game that we actually have to kill. There's another one later, but we don't need to worry about him. This is the only one that's genuinely in the way. So we'll be able to sell the infrared scope soon. Clear up some inventory space. This is a part where Ashley is going to uh, act like she's useful by climbing under the shutter. Leave it to me, Leon. You know, like we couldn't have done that. All right, this is where we buy the exclusive for the striker. And this is pretty much where you want it, because we're just going to be spamming this thing in the upcoming section. It's a big on-rails segment that takes up about half the chapter. Welcome. Ashley's driving, we're shooting. Got a selection of good it really does drag, honestly. But it's not difficult. <laughs> Thank you. Not with the striker. What are you buying? There's one area that can be tricky, but I'll show you how to deal with it. Is that all? <laughs> there it is. There's our exclusive. That capacity went up to 100. <laughs> Thank you. We have enough shoddy ammo for the rest of the game. More than enough. I should have sold some shells here just to clear inventory space, but I didn't. We'll have a huge excess of them by the end of the game. Wait. Tell Ashley to wait by that lever and go select this one. Wait for the center light to light up and then pull the lever. I know, difficult puzzles, right? <laughs> Here we go. The on-rails section begins. And I decided to do some inventory management. It looks nice. It looks pretty good. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. We're just gonna sit back with the striker. The enemies in this area, they have some, some serious hops. They can jump a good 15 feet for some reason. They got their good shoes on. Here they come. Nothing to it. Just sit back in the corner and start blasting. This dude with the crossbow is struggling. You can see him on the right. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Nope. Get wrecked. 
You too. And your friends. He missed. He just straight up missed. Poor guy. I took that opportunity to grab some treasure. I ran back to my corner. These trucks, shoot them right in the windshield. You can just use a, just a couple pistol rounds or a couple shoddy rounds to take care of it. When the truck is covered in flames, that's when you're safe. That's something we'll have to deal with again in a little bit. Not only here, but later in the chapter as well. And it's good. You see like a little bit of a little bit of extra flame erupt from the hood. That's when you're safe. Now this section can be dangerous if you're if you're unprepared. But I'll show you how to do it in a way that I think is the easiest. So as soon as you climb up this ladder, do a quick turn and hop back down. Don't waste any time. Just hop back down and start running for the truck immediately. Don't stop, because this guy comes at you swinging. It'll definitely give him a wide berth. Try to get on the other side of the truck like I did, at least in the middle. And then just sit back and take these dudes out. There are some enemies up the ladder. But out of our line of sight right now. One of them has a crossbow, but he stays in position. So I'm just waiting him out. And we should be good. You still want to be taken by surprise. That's why I was being so cautious here. But once you're sure that the enemies are done dropping down, just get your sniper rifle ready. And you can aim up at these guys. See, they haven't moved that entire time. And they just got a double headshot on them. Now their buddy's going to walk out with the crossbow. What makes this an easy strat is that those guys just stay up there. It would be a different story if that guy walked out. If he walked out, he would just shoot you when you had your back to him, but he won't. Now this whole area is clear except for one guy that's still chilling up here. But he won't do anything, he'll have his back to us. <laughs> He's pretending he didn't hear the commotion. I like how the enemies on the island, some of them, they like purr when you kill them. He's the little kitty cat purr. It's very cute. We get back to the truck and that's the final stretch. Luckily there's not multiple stops along the way, just this one. Because it's already a pretty long sequence. There will be some guys waiting on some walkways during this next section. We'll be able to take them out very easily with the pistol. Because the bullets will pretty much just clip through certain parts of the environment and those guys will die in one shot. It's just one of those things. If you know they're there, it's easy. There they are. See, you can just shoot right through that. And there's two more as well. And conveniently, as soon as we take them out, well, it's convenient because as soon as 
We cross this area, that's when the other enemies start running up. The timing just works out okay. The rest of this section is pretty much just sitting back and using the striker. If it starts to look a little iffy, if you start to feel like you're being overwhelmed, just uh, you know, use a flashbang if you have to, use incendiaries, whatever you need to do. This guy was causing trouble because I had to worry about this truck. When you hear the horn, you know this truck's coming. Luckily, the guy with the plug is, <laughs> luckily he kept his distance. I didn't want him running up to the truck, sneaking up behind me. And that's it for the combat in this chapter. Just a little bit of looting, a little bit of inventory management, a merchant, and that'll be it. Nice little safe haven here. There's another piece of the puzzle for that cat statue. Piece of the treasure puzzle. Luckily, our inventory is starting to feel, you know, not quite so full. We still have plenty of stuff, but it's not maxed out anymore. A little bit of breathing room for picking up new items. And that's it. It's the end of 5-2. We're getting very close now. Three chapters to go. I'll see you for the next one. It's a doozy.